Hello students, in our last lecture we have read distance, displacement, acceleration. Now we shall try to explain these things geometrically. So with the help of graphs we shall represent motion. In this way the most important thing is that first of all we shall try to trace distance time graph distance time graph distance time graph for distance time graph we take time on x axis suppose this is x axis and distance on y axis this is our y axis so this is x axis this is y axis this is origin now according to our convenience we choose our scale see what is the right way to choose school a scale we take equidistant point suppose we take distance at every one centimeter one two three Five. This is the real meaning of a scale. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Again, on y-axis, we choose equidistant points. So we put our zero in here and mark equidistant points, maintaining distance one centimeter. One, two. 3, 4, 5 and so on. Suppose we have to represent motion for 5 seconds or 10 seconds. So we take on x axis time and we write time in second. This represents that all these values are in seconds. So 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. And if suppose the distance traveled is in meter, so distance in meter, distance in meter on y axis, this is 2 meter, 4 meter. 6 meter, 8 meter, 10 meter. So suppose if time is 0, then the distance of any object is also 0. So this origin gives us 0, 0 point. After 1 second, if the distance of the object is 2 meter, so we find this point. After 2 seconds, the distance of the object is 4 meter. From any fixed point, that is from reference point, so we find this point. After 3 seconds, if the distance is 6 meter, so we find this point. After 4 seconds, if the distance is... So, what we see here? We see that if we join all these points, then what we find? We find a straight line. Nearly a straight line. This straight line gives us information that the object is in inform motion. Now, remember the lesson taught in our previous classes. What was the definition of any form motion? We had defined that if any object travels equal distance in equal time interval, then it is said to be in inform motion. What we see here? We see here that after every second, the distance traveled by this object is equal. That is in one second, object travels 2 meter again in next second it travels next 2 meter again in next second it travels so in equal time interval the distance travel is equal and if we add these points then it gives us a, a straight line so this straight line gives us distance time graph distance time graph. This is distance time graph. Distance time graph for 
uniform motion uniform motion but just the situation will change now see in second case once again we take time on x-axis so suppose this is our x-axis this is our x-axis this is our y-axis y-axis x y origin we take the same scale that is one two three four five six seven so on and we write on x-axis time in second as s stands for second and one on y-axis we take distance distance in meter so suppose on time scale we have one two three four five six seven and on y-axis that is one two three four five six our scale is now now i change this scale and then we take five ten 15, 20, 25, 30, so on. So suppose if time is 0 and object is at a reference point, so this is 0, 0 point. After one second, the object travels 5 meter distance. So this is the point 1, 5. But after 2 seconds, the object is at this point. Now it is traffic jam and at third second the position of the object is the same. Now the road is clear. Driver accelerates the vehicle and suddenly in fourth second the object reaches to a distance 30 meter. So now what is the nature of this graph? The nature of this graph, see, we join all these points with our free hand. So this is the movement of this graph. Is it a straight line? No, it is not a straight line. So if distance time graph is not a straight line, then it is called this is uh, again this is distance time graph distance time graph for non uniform motion non uniform motion what we had read and what we have learned we have already learned uniform and non-uniform motion. What was the definition of non-uniform motion? The definition of non-uniform motion was that if any object does not travel equal distance in equal time interval, then it is said to be in non-uniform motion. So, one by one, we shall explain each and every physical terms geometrically. Here we have explained distance, time, uniform motion, non-uniform motion. Now, suppose the object is at, at rest. So how we can trace the graph for object at rest? See, this is our x-axis. This is our y-axis. x-axis, y-axis, origin. Once again, we take time in second. Time may be taken in minute. It may be taken in hour according to our situation. It, it may change. Our scale may change from situation to situation according to the requirement of our question. And we take 
distance here distance in meter on y axis suppose this is the scale one time axis one two three four five one two three four five that is one second two seconds three seconds four seconds five seconds and so on and on y axis we take a distance of 10 meter 20 meter 30 meter 40 meters 50 meters so on suppose you are standing at any point 20 meter or 30 meter from any bus stop so suppose this point this origin is your bus stand of runisadpur and you are standing at a distance 30 meter 30 meter from your bus stand early in the morning you have to go any place that is you have to go to patna and early in the morning you are standing at a distance 30 meter from your runi satpur bus stand after one second you are standing at the same point after two seconds also you are standing on the same point still you are waiting for the bus after three seconds again your position is the same after four seconds again you are at the same position now what is the situation you talk to some persons and they say you that today it is Vihar Band so there is not any facility of us today so what will be the nature of craft here see this is the nature of craft if we join all these points once again we find a straight line but this straight line is parallel to time axis what we see in our first lecture we had read what is the meaning of rest how we had defined it we had defined it that if any object does not change its position see here the position is fixed that is from reference point time is going on but the distance of that person is fixed it is always 30 meter so if any object does not change its position with respect to its surrounding with time then it is said to be at rest so this is distance time graph distance time graph for object at rest there are so many different examples by which we can explain our topics and now the main thing is that we shall explain every physical quantity starting from rest, motion, distance, displacement, speed, velocity, acceleration with the help of graphs. But the most important thing is that how much you learn anything to finish syllabus is not our motto. So today I am concluding my lesson and I give you lesson to revise these three graphs. So today's homework is revise and learn graphical representation of motion and redraw these three graphs thank you thank you very much